Okay, carrying on from where we left off. So this should be the part three, and this should be the shortest part, I hope. Okay, so we've got the gradient here, which is going to be negative 0 0.25, and that's supposed to be three quarters of whatever that other gradient is. I'm going to call it gradient M1. So multiplying here, so M1 will equal negative 0 0.25 times by 4 divided by 3. Okay, and that comes out to be times 4 divided by 3 is a third. Okay, so that means that the gradient up here is a third. Okay, so the rise over run is a third. So once again, you've got here, you've got the gradient. So if I have y equals a third x, and then all I need to know is c. In this case, I know a point that is that goes through it, and that's the point 22.5. So if I can just grab that one there, can that work for me? So this one here, 22.5, which is that one there. Okay, we can put that point into there. So let's try that. So we've got um, the y is 2.5 equals 1 third times 20, which is the x value, plus c. And if you work all of that out, it will come out to be 2.5 minus, um, let's just change that to this one. Oh, that's a bit yucky. Um, that's supposed to be negative. Sorry, let me put that negative back in there. Okay, so let's try that again. Um, I get 55 over 6, which is a bit of an ugly decimal. Okay, so let's change that to a decimal, which is 9.17, and that's rounded to 2 dp. So my equation will be y equals 1 third, negative 1 third x plus 9.17. Voila.